So I just had some ribs and I was just wondering how you could track things with, you know, bones on calorie counting apps, such as MyFitnessPal. And I was looking at like tutorials to see if you could do it, but I couldn't really find anything like that on YouTube. So I decided I'm gonna make a video on it. <laughs> So first, what you want to do is you want to weigh the food, the meat raw before cooking it, you know, and you don't want to put sauce or anything like that. Preferably, you want to like portion it out um, into like a serving size. So this works better if you're by yourself or maybe you have like your family. But if you have like a large like barbecue or gathering, it's probably a pain and you just just forget about it. But weigh it before, mark this down somewhere. So I'll put like an entry on my fitness pal for like a recipe, I mean, or a meal. Yeah, I put it as a meal. And for the meal um, in my fitness pal, there's a section where you can add instructions. But instead of instructions, I'll just put like the grams of uh, all the ones, portions I measured. So if you have like a bunch of like wings and you split them off into like, you know, a section here, a batch of like seven and eight and like 50 or something, I don't know. If you want, if you have like aluminum foil or something, you could like wrap it up and then like, you know, pet your marinade or whatever you want. And then put like in a Sharpie or something or, or a plastic bag, put it over and write down, you know, which one it is. Once you're done eating it, this is where you have to do some work. So take your ribs or bones or whatever, put it on your food scale, click the button. This resets it to zero. And then you just take this, throw away the bones, but do it kind of quick or maybe this might time out. Once you throw everything away, you just put it back on and you see 91 grams. So that's how much our bones weighed. So you want to take note of this and subtract it from um, what you recorded earlier in uh, like, for example, like your instruction section on the recipe portion of MyFitnessPal. And that's how you get the calories for ribs. Peace.